we have the phenomenon of the white pope. But the white pope is just the head of the official organ, the official uh, Roman Catholic religion. Behind him is the black pope. And behind the black pope, for those who are familiar specifically with my work, is the cult of Aton. And these hierarchs out of the ancient Egyptian world, the old Israelite Egyptian pharaohs of old, a whole other concept that we don't have time to elaborate on now. But those who are familiar with my work will understand that there's a worship of the dark side of the sun, which Christians call Luciferianism. And they're not far wrong, actually. They're not far wrong. But I prefer to call it Atonism, the worship of the sun church that Jordan has spent his whole life elaborating on, the solar church. What is the solar church? These people that we're talking about today are lower henchmen, servants, lieutenants of this great power. But specifically, Bush answers to the Queen and also to the Black Pope, who at this point in time is Peter Hans Kolvenbach and his coterie, Opus Dei, and many of the other orgs that they control in this country, including the media. As David Icke said, the Queen of England made Bush's military chiefs, Colin Powell and, and Norman Schwarzkopf, honorary knights of the British Empire. And the senior Bush is uh, indicted for her services rendered also in the first war of Iraq. Of course, but for any American to get on his knees to those people in, in Buckingham Palace is an obscenity. That alone should have had them thrown into the Atlantic Ocean where they belong. Right. How dare they, that hundred, a few hundred years ago, you were fighting these people. They were all at war against these tyrants. The Tsar of Russia wasn't your enemy. The Arder Mongolians weren't. Certainly not the Af Afghanistans and Saddam Hussein. No. The enemy of America, as I've said many times, was Britain. So what, is the, what are they doing giving the keys of the city of New York to the Queen of England just a short time after? What are these guys doing, getting on their knees? Well, they're, they're doing it because they have to. They're going home to say, pat me on the back, now I've done my job. America is sinking a little bit further into the, into the grave. Where's my medal? Where's the schools that my kids are going to go to? You see, all those privileges. I don't care about the American people. I care about the, my life, my, my family. Henry Ford, who was a little bit onto some of this stuff, he was off in many areas, but the man had a sort of a glimmer, same as Howard Hughes, into what was going on. And one thing he said I agree with, he said people deserve the government they get. We're going to see in this presentation that he is exactly precisely right, probably more than he even knew. We do deserve the governments we get, and we're going to find out how we bring those governments into existence. 